All right, what's up, football fans? It's your boy Keen again here to give you another scout report for today. For this report, I'm here to talk about J Jake Fisher, the offensive tackle coming out of Oregon. Now, he's actually coming from Traverse City, Michigan, and he was a standout player in high school at the defensive line and at tight end before converting more in the offensive line at tackle for the Oregon Ducks. Now, he started his career and spent most of his career as a right tackle before converting to left tackle due to the huge loss in season and the injury and Tyler Johnson. And Jake Fisher definitely did a great job, and he had good hats out to him and stepping up and becoming a team player and converting to left tackle in which he earned 13 All-American honors and first team All-Pac-12 honors this past season in 2014. Now let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First his strengths. Now he definitely has a decent size at 6'6", six six, 306 pounds. He's long, long arms, broad shoulders, good frame, that you, that, a little decent frame that you're looking for. You just wish he was just a little bit bigger but we'll talk about that in just a couple seconds in his weaknesses. Now he definitely is a natural knee bender does a good job bending his knees and having decent um 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 hand um skills and good technique with his hands and engaging onto the block to his opposing blockers and getting to his blockers. He's a well developed um zone block zone um base blocker. So for zone based offenses, I think that he will be an excellent right um tackle and at the next level in the NFL. He's definitely a team player, a coachable player, and I, that's all I do like about him. He's a pretty good technician. Now let's talk about his weaknesses though even though he's a good technician he's not that more he's not in a type notch elite athlete that you want at the tight end position but I still think he's a decent right tight end as opposed to left I think he could convert back to right tight end right on um, on um, tackle instead of left tackle in the National Football League now as far as his feet I think he needs to do a better job with his kick slide and, and sticking up and, and keeping up with the speedy pass rushers at the next level now let's let me let you know something else. Now he was actually one of the most um, penalized um, um, tackles over the course of the last two seasons in college football. That's another weakness that he has. He needs to do a lot better and I think he's going to have to struggle a little bit against the speedy pass rushers of the National Football League. Now he didn't, um, Marcus Mariota wasn't sacked all the time but that's due to the fact that it was Marcus Mariota. He was a big time dual threat and with his mobility he definitely escaped a lot of issues and getting sacked. So I think that Jake Fisher benefited a lot because of Marcus Mariota's escapability at quarterback. But I think that Jake Fisher is a good player. I still see a lot of scouts put him projecting as a, a first round or a second round type um, offensive tackle. But I actually have to put him at, I have to put him as a late second round pick early third round pick of this year's draft. I just think that he needs to work on his feet. His bounce and power needs to be a little bit on um, 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 Better bouncing his using his feet for bounce and power. Also, he only weighs 306 pounds. That is still a good size, but you just wish he just bulked up a little bit and become a better, bigger um, offensive uh, 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 tackle. At around 330, at six foot six, 330, that would be the perfect size that you want at that position. I think that would definitely boost off his draft status had he been a little bit bigger. But I still think he's a decent player. Definitely a great um, right tackle, and I think he would be good a good zone scheme tackle at the next level. So I have to actually have to project him as a late second round, early third round pick of this year's draft. Now I'm going to catch you guys in just a couple of minutes. I have more scout reports to give you guys for today. I'll see you guys in just a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm your man Akeem McCall. Be easy.